Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing part three of my fall decorate with me. As you can see, we are outside. That means we are taking care of the backyard patio and the front porch. So we're actually gonna start in the backyard today just because I have a couple of ideas of what I want to do out here. I do also for out front as well, but um, I think I know more of what I want to do out here. Out here, the space is mostly finished because I actually redid it this spring. I shared that with you guys a few months ago. And so you've probably seen like what it looks like right now, but I am gonna share with you kind of like how it looks right now. It does need to be like cleaned up. I have emptied out mostly the planters. I've learned a couple of things along the way about plants and how to take care of them. Um, my plants suffered a little bit this year, mostly because I was gone several times due to like family things um, that I've mentioned in the past or whatever, but they got a little bit neglected. And normally that wouldn't be the case. This has been a really weird and rough year. It's okay. Um, they were annual plants anyway, so I wasn't expecting them to last forever, but they did um, die out a little sooner than I anticipated. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do today, but first I'm gonna share with you like how it looks right now. So here's the front porch. You probably remember this from my spring decorate with me. It basically looks the same. It just needs a little bit of cleaning right now. And this is like what I was talking about with my plants. So this right here is one of the um, petunias that I had planted. Apparently, when they grow leggy like this, you're supposed to cut them back. Otherwise, all of the nutrients and like the effort of the plant go towards the ends here. So I was getting blooms still towards the end, but as you can see, they get all brown and gross towards the inside and they start looking viney. I was apparently supposed to cut those back. Also, they didn't get watered quite as much as they needed to, because like I said, I've been like here and there and everywhere, so I have not had a chance to really take care of them. This pot got blown over in that storm that flooded our basement and broke. So we're actually just gonna get rid of that whole thing and we are gonna start over with a different plant right there. My other planters, I already took the um, petunias out of. And then also I had like another plant in there that was overgrown and terrible looking. So I got rid of that. The vine things, I don't know what they're called right now, are still going and they're supposed to be an annual plant. They'll die out probably soon, but I'm leaving them for now. And then my grasses did not do great either. I had so many of them that just like browned up and I don't know if they got burnt in the sun or what, they were supposed to be full sun plants, but they just did not do great. So I've trimmed them back and kind of tried to make them look the best I can and we're gonna leave them like this. I'm actually going to push them back towards the back of the pot because I got these mums. I actually picked these up from Aldi. They were only $3.50. So if you have an Aldi near you, go get yourself some mums because they're beautiful and they're inexpensive. And then I got these two um, plants that are called Kaluna. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but they're so pretty. And my daughter actually picked these out. They're supposed to be a great fall plant. So I'm gonna put those in with these and the grass. And then I'm gonna fill in any blank spots with some faux flat plants. Not ideal and probably not what most people do in their planters, but I don't wanna invest a whole lot of money in fall plants that are going to die in just a couple of months. So I thought that this was sufficient and it should hopefully look nice. And then as you can see, I have a couple of pillows that I actually used inside last year. I'm gonna bring out and then some pumpkins, lanterns, and whatever else. So we are going to work on this first and see if we can make it look nice and clean and ready for the season. So first things first, I am gonna go ahead and wipe down all of the furniture, cushions, pillows, and the table, and then I'm gonna sweep the whole patio cause grass and leaves and dirt, debris, or whatever collect over here, and it all just needs a good cleaning.
Now that everything is straightened up, I am gonna go ahead and move over to these planters. Like I said, I wanna go ahead and move these grasses to the back of the pot. I think it'll look nice uh, no matter what time of year, whatever I'm planting to have the colorful and the filler uh, like florals and things like that just be on the front. Originally I had done the grass in the middle so that it would look uh, kind of the same from all angles of the pot, but I don't have any real reason to have it like that because it's just the neighbors behind me basically that are seeing the back of the pot and it still should look nice. But this also gave me some extra room to plant this larger mum. So I think I'm gonna like this arrangement better. The grasses were a little bit hard to get up. The roots had gone down very deep, but Hopefully this will also give them a little bit more room to breathe as well, to not have plants all the way around it. So my planters are planted with like the live plants or whatever, but upon research with the planters um, and why my flowers were dying, I found out that in planters with watering and rain, the nutrients in the soil go through the pot also, okay? So clearly my soil has lost nutrients. So I picked up some of this stay green plant food. We're gonna add some of this to the planters today. I don't really know if this is what I'm supposed to be using, but we're trying it and hopefully it works. It does have a measuring spoon. Um, it says one tablespoon of the plant food per gallon of water. I have this little um, watering can. My guess is it's about a third of a gallon. I don't know that for sure, but I have one teaspoon, which is a third of a tablespoon. So I'm going to mix a teaspoon of water in a full um, watering can and I'm going to do that a couple of times and that should hopefully give it a little bit of extra nutrients and hopefully keep these going well into the season. Okay, our planters are planted with the live plants that I'm going to do, and I think they look really good, but like I said, there's a few holes in it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this faux floral in it. I think it adds just a little bit more color and interest. It's not my favorite thing. I would much prefer live plants, but like I said, I don't wanna invest in all of that for the fall season, so this will work for now, and then as those plants grow, if they need more room, I can just take off the uh, faux florals. Next, we're just gonna add a couple of pillows and then we will move on to the small planter that is over on the table. I didn't even share this flower, not sure what it's called, so sorry, but I did pick this up at Lowe's along with those Calla Luna plants. Um, and it was just over with the mums. I don't think it's a mum, but um, it was over there and I just really liked the color and thought it would be pretty on this table. Next, I wanted to just style out this little corner. Our door opens just on one side. It looks like it's a double door, but it is not actually. So this door, this side where I'm decorating has like never opened. So I can put a little something here like this lantern and another mom, and it kind of fills out the patio and gives a little bit of decor right here. And I don't have to worry about it being in the way. So I'm just adding this lantern that um, is like worse for wear. It used to be red, I sprayed it gold and it needs another coat, but 
who cares it's outside looks nice enough and I can throw a couple things in there and make it look nice. So we are out in the front of my house now that the back porch is done or back patio. I have like no summer decor out here. Basically I just have my wreath that's there and then my fern. So we're going to dress it up a little bit today. Uh, I do have a little bit of a plan. I'm going to show you what I have, what we're working with really fast. So I have a couple more of these moms that I got from Aldi. I also picked up these, um, they're just like a little sage green pot. Uh, from Lowe's and they were three dollars. I just thought that those were nicer than the little black plastic things that the um, moms come in so I'm gonna do that and then I have my fall wreath. I have this thing. I actually used it inside last year. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it out here or not but I brought it out just in case and then I have a couple of signs that I made. That one's upside down but I just thought those might be pretty out here and then I have this chalkboard the chalkboard I'm gonna draw something on so that will be exciting and then I have a bunch of pumpkins and some greenery so basically my front door is like it's not a very big porch and I don't like this is not a, like a corner corner this is like open so I can't really put anything over here plus we have to have access to our hose and things so I don't try to do too much over here obviously we have a pair of shoes out here which will eventually go away but this corner is something I actually like to decorate because it's it's like a good corner that I can actually lean things up against. So we're gonna create like a little vignette over here with signs and moms and pumpkins and stuff. And I might eventually get a corn stalk. I don't have one right now, but that's a possibility for the future. So um, first I'm gonna go ahead and start with the chalkboard. So on Pinterest, I just found these two um, little like chalkboard signs. I think there's something you can buy that's like a printable or print like something you print off. I'm not even sure, but I thought that they were pretty and that's kind of what I wanted to do. So I'm going to copy basically one of these onto that chalkboard, but I'm going to use instead of like regular chalk, I'm going to use these. These are like colored pastels or whatever you call them. They're, uh, they're meant for like paper but I find that they work really well on chalkboards they give you like a really bright color and they're just easy to use so that is what we're going to use to create a quick little fall chalkboard so I'm going to do that real fast I don't know about you but I absolutely love seeing art done in fast forward I get these like advertisements or whatever you want to call them the sponsored things on Facebook all the time it's my favorite thing. So 
thought I'd leave this in here and give you guys a little fast forward of the artwork. I literally just look at it and play with it. It's, n it's not great or exact or whatever. I'm just doing whatever. Um, and it doesn't matter. This would be very easy to do on your own. If you wanted to have some sort of artwork or whatever, you can just do like words even, pick out something on Pinterest and try and kind of replicate it or do something on your own. But I find this is kind of a cool way to change up artwork and get a different look each time. I also thought that this was really fitting for the porch, just having a chalkboard um, print like this. And I love the way it turned out. So now that I'm all done with my chalkboard art, I am just gonna start playing around with this corner. I really don't have a plan except for that I just know that I want the chalkboard, you know, front and center in the corner and then I want mums around it. So I'm just gonna play with it and try to vary heights and um, just placement. So you'll see me kind of do a couple of different things um, and I just play with it until I get to where I actually like it. And then also on the front porch, I'm trying to make sure that everything is kind of sturdy because we do get a lot of wind and I don't want all this stuff blowing all over the yard. So that is part of it. And the pumpkins that I have, a lot of them are picks. So I can actually stick those down in between the slats on that crate and that helps them to stay sturdy.
it is the next day, but I just wanted to hop on here because I forgot to close out this video, but I did want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. I am going to do a fall house tour next. So you'll want to be notified when that comes up. I'm going to tell you where I got everything and what exactly I did and just give you an overview of how it all looks put together. But I really appreciate you being here and I will see you guys in my next video.